All right, everybody, welcome again to Homie Draws. This is another edition of Fan Submission. Um, this isn't really a fan submission. This is a friend of mine who draws much better than me and actually was watching his videos that made me want to uh, start drawing again. So with no further ado, let's dive into this and uh, let's see how many us I can cut out of this one versus the last one. So going in, got our little intro and jumping right into the dragon. First thing, I just love how he has this perception of uh, like how the dragon should look without, you know, he hasn't done uh, drawing lines or different things. He's just got this perception, this uh, spatial perception that I uh, haven't developed yet. And um, he's not a professional artist either. He's an enthusiast. You know, he draws what he wants to. And actually, he's gotten into it again because he just got an iPad and he's been enjoying drawing with the iPad and, and again actually that's why I started drawing as well seeing what he was doing made me want to start flexing those creative muscles again uh, and so it's just it's just fun to see all right so I like the shading that he's done I you know have no idea if it's technically good but it, it looks better than what I do and I especially like uh, the little detail the back feet are slightly darker um, and I, I'd like to figure out how to do that. He, he uses, I think, Adobe Fresco for this one. I typically use Procreate. Um, and I, I do want to dabble a little bit in Adobe Fresco for the vector uh, art that they have. I want to see how that is. Um, so I, I didn't notice the wings or, uh, initially when I first saw this drawing. So it's fun to watch the playthrough uh, and see the, see the wings. And then I, I also especially like how the claws really seem to go over the rock there, which when it comes back again after the layers, I think we'll see that. Also, I, I, when I was first watching some of these videos, I, I, I sort of got the idea of the power of layers. I, I could see how they were useful when I saw other people do them, um, but I wasn't watching a lot of uh, drawing videos. Uh, so when I saw him do it uh, like this, that was sort of one of the inspiring things for me. Oh, and I, you know what? I didn't notice that the back wing is actually, actually I can't tell, but it almost seems like the back wing is uh, the shade in that, in that top wing which totally could not be the case, but, but possible. So I, I sped this whole part up. He spends a lot of time getting the, the scales in. And actually, that's one of the things I like about this dragon a lot is the sort of uniformity of the scales, how good they look. And then he's doing that bottom layer first and the top layer. I don't know if that's for extra detail or just as a guide before he goes in and does that darker layer, but I really, really like it. I, I enjoy it a lot. So it's fun to see other people's processes. And uh, he did... He did I'm happy that he said I could upload this and uh, and share some of what he's doing. So, um, yeah, it's it's just good to see how much time this takes. And actually, I was I was watching this earlier, and I did this is my my second time recording and talking about this. Um, and the first time I actually had to had to throw out because I didn't think to speed up this part, and I really didn't have <laughs> that much to say. Uh, so there's a lot of pauses and a lot of uhs, but I think this has worked out a lot better. I went through and sped up some of the, the scaling parts. But um, yeah, in case you didn't, I mean, this is double speed, uh, and he definitely seems to have spent the most time uh, doing the scaling. So he also said he spent a lot of time on the eye, and I, I don't know if it'll show up. I, I don't know that we can really tell, but he did a lot of different coloring things with the eye um, that he was happy with. And so... Um, just wanted to point that out since that was something he had pointed out to me. Um, I like uh, I like how he has just a few horns on the neck and down below. Pretty much every time I draw some sort of mythical animal or beast, I've got horns all the way down. And I think that the that less is more in this case, actually. I like the touch. And then I like just the very subtle shading on the horns at the top where it's just slightly darker. You really, you know, it feels more natural. It feels like the same color, but further away. Um, he cut this out, but I, I stuck it in for a little bit longer. I think he wasn't happy with the, the rock and the castle there, but I just thought, oh, it'd be fun to see for a little longer. So that's me holding it there. Um, then he gets rid of that and that's pretty much it. But, uh, messing around with colors and shapes and twists, but yeah, this was definitely fun. And, and, uh, hopefully we can see some, some more from him, uh, in the future. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy it. Please like, and subscribe and, uh, I'll see you in the next one.